When I woke up, I heard the fire alarm going off. Heather Gilbert says she lived three doors down from where the fire started on the fourth floor of Elm Towers in Waterville. Gilbert described the moment she escaped her apartment. I opened the door and there was totally black smoke, thick black smoke. And then flames started coming out and then they finally put it out. Waterville Fire Chief Sean Essler says his crew was dispatched to the scene at 5.40 a.m. for a report of an alarm activation. He says crews quickly jumped into action to evacuate the building and diminish the flames. Upon arrival, guys found that uh, there was some smoke and fire showing from the fourth floor. Simultaneously, crews were uh, on nearly every level of this seven-story building, uh, helping to rescue and assist the occupants from the building. Chief Esler says the fourth floor sustained heavy smoke and fire damage, with the lower floor suffering from water damage. Upon searching the building, fire crews located an unresponsive individual. That person was later pronounced deceased after resuscitation efforts. Gilbert says she knew the deceased individual and will always remember him for how caring he was. He would, he's the type of guy that would like give you the shirt off his back, you know? Like if I ever needed help out with anything, like food or anything like that, you know, he'd help me out. Three others were sent to the hospital to be evaluated for smoke inhalation. The Red Cross and Waterville Housing Authority were on the scene checking on residents and finding them temporary housing arrangements. Residents will be staying at the Best Western in Augusta for the foreseeable future. It's unclear what started the fire, which is under investigation by the fire marshal's office. In Waterville, Matthew Jaroncic reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.